In this video, we're going to take a look at the ComGrow Air Assist Kit to see if it's worth your time and money to install it on your X-Tool D1 laser machine. Stay tuned to find out more. Welcome back to the Laser Channel. My name is Greg and recently I was contacted by Andy from ComGrow to do a review on their air assist kit that will fit the X-Tool D1 series machine. So in this video, we're going to install this kit step by step and actually do a little mini project on here and see how well this works to make sure that it's worth your time and money. And if it doesn't cut the mustard, something doesn't look like, I'll actually have that in the video too. Even though this video is sponsored by ComGrow by sending me this unit, I am under no obligation to say glowing things about it. So if I do say things about it that are positive, that's my personal opinion about it. And if it's not performing as expected, I'll cover that in the video as well. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start installing this kit. During the unboxing of the Air Assist kit, I did go through the manifest to make sure that we did have all of the accessories that do come with the air assist kit. All the parts are present. I'm pretty excited about this kit. The motor seems pretty heavy and it's like a quality unit. Everything is tight on it. I did take a look at it immediately after unboxing. One of the really nice features that I like about it already before I even turn it on is that it's got these little foot pegs on the bottom and my experience with these is when they're running this will just have a soft hum in the background and it will stay in one spot. So we'll check that out shortly. Let me bring out all the pieces that we need for the installation. With power off, I'm going to go ahead and remove the laser module from the machine. And for this installation, I'm going to keep this cable connected. I don't wanna disturb this connection back here any more than I need to. And referencing the instructions on here, maybe we'll get a, a close up of that. Uh, for the X tool, this bottom section showcases everything that you need to do to install it. So it's a, a few basic steps and a lot of pictures. So for the X tool version, we're going to have the taller nozzle, this air hose bracket with the offset hole, this airline fitting with this extended part. Here is a shield that we can put on. I'll show you how that goes on, but I'm actually not going to install it because on my normal machine, I have an enclosure around here and that's closed uh, while I'm running the machine. So I don't have to worry about any stray laser light beams coming in contact with my eyes, but we'll take a look at that in just a minute. And then we've got the two long screws for when we install this bracket. Now, the kit also comes with this masking tape, and a lot of people ask what this high temperature tape is for, and that is if you have an earlier generation of the X-Tool where you do not have this protective lens on the front, so your stack height here will be quite a bit shorter, and the diameter will be smaller, and the intent of this tape is that you wrap the tape around the base of your lens so that your air nozzle centers up on that. So of course I have the later generation and my air nozzle fits right over the top and it's nice and snug. And my preference is before I put this nozzle on the end of the laser module, I like to screw in the air fitting for the air first. And these actually don't need to be too terribly tight. I'm just making sure that this is finger tight and that feels good. And I'm going to grab the small included Allen wrench.
My preference when installing the air nozzle is to install the air fitting that the hose connects to. This does two things. It allows me to work with the parts without moving the main module around and this cable. The other part is if we can get a shot where we look inside of this nozzle, we'll see that part of that air fitting, some of the threads come through to the inside. Here's another view of that. Here the threads are coming through a little bit. So if we had this installed, that would actually bite down onto the brass of the laser head itself. And we tighten that up and it just needs to be snugged a little bit. We'll check to make sure that that's good. Now we'll see that there's a little bit of a gap here. And again, that's because the threads from this air fitting are poking through a little bit and it's just, uh, that's kind of the stop point for it. With the air nozzle installed, we can go ahead and install the shield that goes around. This is how that would fit on there. So this takes the place of your orange shield that comes from the factory with the X-Tool. And that is a nice fit. Let me tighten the screws back up. This is a nice clean fit. The air nozzle is flush with this shielding. This is a nice option if you'd like to use this shield rather than cutting up your orange one from X-Tool because not all of us may have the drill bits or the tools to modify the orange shield that comes with the X-Tool laser module. I think this is ready to install back onto the mount. We'll grab our little screwdriver and pull out the two screws that we need to replace. And we'll see that the factory screw on the bottom is in fact a little bit shorter than the one that comes with the kit, which is uh, the way it should be so that it makes up the height difference of this bracket. In this bracket, it's easy to tell which side faces up. One side will have the bracket modified so that these screws will fit flush. The other side is just regular flat. And if we put the screw in, we'll see that the screw head sticks out just a little bit. Let me flip that back around. Grab this mini screwdriver. This really is the smallest screwdriver I've ever seen. There, attached. We're about halfway through the install. This goes very, very quickly. The next thing that we need is our airline. So I have some old twist ties that I use on my gantry here uh, just because I move this thing around quite a bit and I'm constantly pulling the air assist hose on and off. So this is a great way for me to install that air hose and be able to move it back and forth. It's a nice snug fit. And when installing the airline into the fitting, I always support underneath the fitting and push down and I'll feel a little clunk. I'll feel resistance where it feels like it stops and I push it and it'll move just a little bit more. So now that we have that set, the next thing that I'm going to install is the airline that goes between the pump and the laser module. On my machine, I use some old wire ties that I had that came with the X-Tool. Uh, I like that rather than the zip ties just because I removed this airline uh, quite a bit on my machine for doing maintenance. And it's just a very convenient way to get the airlines uh, on and off the machine. So I thread that through, I go through this top bracket. And what I like to do when I insert the airline into this fitting is I like to support the fitting on the bottom with my hand. And I insert that until it just about stops. And then I push a little bit more and you'll feel it insert a little bit deeper. Now we know that that is inserted all the way into the fitting. If you decide that you need to remove the air fitting, the way that this fitting removes the airline is there's a collar on the top, and when we press down to compress that, you can then pull up on that airline and it releases quite easily. 
if you don't want to use the twist ties like I do, because that's a, a little bit old fashioned, uh, if you're doing a little bit more of a permanent setup, you can use some of the included zip ties that come with the kit and simply just go across the gantry rail that have holes already from X-Tool. The only thing to do that's left is to insert the other end of this airline into the pump. And as simple as that, the kit is installed. I'm turning this pump on for the first time and it looks like the power switch on here is more than just a basic power switch. It looks like it has a variable speed controller. Let's check this out. I'm slowly turning that up and you can probably hear that humming. So we do have a little bit of a buzz, but here, this is not walking around. Some of the other pumps, if you build the kit yourself, uh, a lot of times the pump that you'll find off of uh, Amazon or something that will have different feet on the bottom. And this will just kind of start walking across your table, bumping into things. And if it bumps into your laser tool while it's running, it can disrupt some of the work that you're doing, along with if I actually push this against the frame, you can hear that it's vibrating this entire frame. So I like the fact that you can set this down in one spot and it stays put. These air assist kits are really great. They allow you to cut cleaner and deeper and as a safety measure too, with that air going by, there's a lot less chance of a, a flame starting on if you're cutting paper or anything flammable like wood. So, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. There are some extra pieces that don't apply to this kit. So we've got the air nozzle, uh, uh, air fitting, some screws, and a bracket that don't apply towards the X-Tool installation. These parts are for the ComGro version of their laser tool machine. I think having the speed control on here is really nice. With my other air assist kit, I simply have an on off a button and there's been times where maybe I'm cutting paper where I would like some air coming through the nozzle but I don't need the full blast and I don't want to put anything on this line that would restrict the airflow and stuff like that. So having this feature is really neat. Next, what I'm going to do is connect the computer up to this and we're actually going to run a project on here. While I get that set up, if you like what you see in this review and the project that we're about to do, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see some of the other products from ComGrow tested on this channel. Audio sync in three, two, one. Computer sync in three, two, one, file. Computer sync in three, two, one, file. 
I have my project loaded in Lightburn. I am using a piece of wood from the Dollar Tree. You know, if you've watched any of the other episodes on this channel, I love shopping at the Dollar Tree because you can pick up a lot of great materials to practice with and create with and not cost a lot of money. And if you make a mistake or you're just learning a new uh, style of doing something, it's a great way to pick up that material. I have my project loaded in Lightburn already. We're going to use the American flag project file that was in an earlier video. You can go ahead and search the channel and find that. Probably have a link down below in the subscription, or not the subscription, but in the description. The piece of wood that I'm using is about 0.1 inches thick. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. If you've watched any of the other videos on this channel, you know that I love to shop there because they have a lot of variety of different things from wood products to paint, glue, paper, poster board. It's a great place to go to pick up a lot of materials and just create with your machine. I'm going to go ahead and get that placed in and secure it down to the honeycomb that I have. Here's a little tip that I like to use to square up my projects is I take a piece of wood or something flat on the gantry and I just move this forward until it hits my project piece, whether it's a piece of wood or paper. And once that's squared up, get that out of the way. And I've lost the other pieces already. I have my computer connected, I'm in Lightburn, and I'm using the project file from the flag project that was from an earlier video. I'll have that video link in the description down below. My project wood that I'm using today is 0.1 inches thick. I picked this wood up from the Dollar Tree. If you've watched any of my other videos where we do projects, you know that I love to shop at the Dollar Tree. They have a lot of different types of wood products, wood, glue, uh, paper products. I probably already mentioned that. Welcome back. I have my computer connected up to the machine. I'm in Lightburn and I'm going to run the American Flag Project file that I ran in an earlier video. If you'd like to reference that video, I'll have that in the link in the description down below. The wood that I'm using for our test today, this is 0.1 inches thick. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. If you've watched any of the other videos on this channel, you'll know that I love shopping there. They have a lot of wood products, paper products, glues, and paints that really make these projects stand out and it doesn't cost a lot of money. It's a great way to learn. And one of the questions that I get is how do I center up or square up my workpiece in relation to the laser? And what I like to use is a flat piece of wood and I'll put that up against the gantry and just slide that down until I hit the base and I'll just push my workpiece up against that. And it doesn't matter if it's a piece of canvas or a piece of wood or paper. Now I know with this tight, that my workpiece is square to my laser module. To secure the workpiece down, and we always want to secure this down whether we use a piece of tape or in this case, I'm going to use these T hold downs with my honeycomb. And I'll just place these up in the corners. Whenever I attach a piece of material in my work area, I always want to make sure that this does not shift around because as the machine moves around or we bump or disturb something that can move our workpiece and spoil our project. Next up is to flip the kickstand down and set our focus height. And that looks good. We'll flip that back up and my origin is in the upper left hand corner. So here's my crosshairs. 
And in the computer, I'm going to frame this out. And that looks good. And because I don't have my protective cover around my machine, I'm going to go ahead and put my safety goggles on. We'll turn the air assist kit on and here we go. Our project's complete. Let's turn the power off on the machine, make things just a little bit quieter. And the moment of truth, we'll see if everything cut out correctly and cleanly on here. And this had one or two pieces that stuck together. But outside of that, all these other smaller pieces, everything cut out cleanly. And we'll look at the union on the flag. And all the little stars, all of those cut out. Those have a tendency just to hang up just because they're small little pieces. Here we'll loosely place a couple of these parts together on the flag. And we've got the points of the star facing up. So with a little bit of glue and some paint, our flag would look something like this. It's a neat, fun little project to do. Looking in detail on this part of the flag, the union, I'll see that all of the stars are cut out very cleanly. Let's move over to the main camera. And that cut through very cleanly. There's no charring around any of the edges. Overall, I'd have to say that I recommend this air assist kit from ComGrow. It's going to be interesting to see them grow, no pun intended, but I was on their website and they do have several different style of tabletop laser machines and including a small CNC machine, which would be really neat because I know even with the laser, there are some projects I'd actually like to engrave into the wood with not using a laser. So that would be kind of something neat to check out in the future. Or if you have one of those, let me know in the comment down below. So the, the critical part of the review, things that I like about this air assist kit is uh, at least mine, it shipped from within the United States. It came in less than a week. It took a little bit longer because it was shipped uh, USPS. If it was shipped uh, UPS or FedEx, I think it would have arrived in uh, uh, maybe about three days rather than a week, but that's not really up to Comgro. Uh, USPS does offer a less expensive shipping, so they pass that savings on to us consumers. Uh, the packaging on this I think was really, really great. Again, let me see if I can find the box that that came in. The packaging on this was very well. I think you could take this box and play soccer with it out in a field with kids all afternoon long and none of these parts would get damaged uh, inside again. The foam packaging that they had in here is like some of the best I've ever seen on a piece of equipment. Everything was form fitted for this type of product so there was no parts to wiggle around or damage other parts in shipping. And it may sound really basic but all the parts were included in the kit that were supposed to be in the kit. The instruction manual uh, had a nice pictorial representation of where all of the pieces and parts went along with about four or five lines of where those parts went. And again, these are pretty basic kits. You have an air pump, an airline, a nozzle, and an air fitting that goes into the nozzle. There's just not a lot of parts to put together on these. And the fit and finish on this is very nice. Uh, the finish on here, 
The color isn't quite the X-Tool color and it's never meant to be, but it does match somewhat closely. So it doesn't really stick out like a sore thumb. It really looks like it should be there. Some of the small details that I really liked about this kit is the accessory bag that came with it does include zip ties, an ample amount of zip ties. So if you're very methodical in routing all of your cables on your machine, you certainly have enough zip ties to keep your setup neat and tidy. Mine can be a little bit messy at times because I work on uh, outside of the videos, a lot of projects where I have to move this around and do different things with it. So I like to have the ability to take uh, air hoses on and off of my machine. I like the part where they include their version of the shield that goes around the base here if you are running an open stand like I did for this video. This fit on perfectly. And in manufacturing, which is part of my background, uh, sometimes that's really hard to take one manufactured part from one company and match it up to another company and have those parts fit. And this part fit like a glove. And it looks very well made. The fit and finish on it, just like all the other pieces, is very nice. One of the other really nice details is you do receive this large roll of masking tape if you have an earlier generation of the X-Tool laser module. If I'm going to be critical on this uh, review, which I'm going to be, I would have to say one thing I didn't like is that when we look at the air nozzle, there is this gap between the nozzle and the laser module. And I'd like to see this gap closed off. That can't move all the way that way because my lenses on my laser module are hitting threads from this air fitting that are poking through this. So one way that ComGro could fix that is to go with a slightly larger diameter of this air nozzle so that these threads would not poke through into the nozzle hitting the lenses on this. So that would be my number one tip on installing this kit is to put this air fitting in first so that it does not cause you problems when you install this onto the module. Overall, I'd have to say I recommend this air assist kit for somebody looking to add it to their machine. In general, air assist kits are highly, highly recommended. And the really neat thing is this kit, uh, as of today, I just checked this afternoon, this kit complete with all the parts is about $70. So that's a significant cost savings versus going to the OEM manufacturer X-Tool for your kit. I feel that the, the performance out of this kit matches that with X-Tool. Um, I know there's some other build kits where you can go and buy an air nozzle from one source that's 3D printed out of plastic and you can go and buy your own air pump and you get some supplied airline. But for myself, I've done enough projects in the past outside of laser technology where I don't want to piece and part anything together anymore. I'm, I'm just getting too old for that. I just want to buy a kit that has all the parts and I know it works and this does that. Welcome to the unboxing of the ComGro Air Assist Kit. This was shipped to me in Wisconsin. It came all the way from New Jersey so the box looks like it's in really good condition. Corners are nice and pointy. This corner did get smushed just a little bit and there's a little indent right here on the box. It'll be interesting to see what that looks like underneath. So let's get started. We've got a nice piece of foam. And then the first thing I'm greeted with, and I have not opened this before, is this is the first sheet that's located in the box is all the items that should be located in here. And we have a parts accessory, some zip ties and some hose guides and looks like some screws and some Allen wrenches. And then some tape, we'll get to this in just a minute. Some airline hose with a connector on the end already. Some air fittings. And another one. This kit does fit two different types of lasers. The ComGro version of uh, their tabletop open stand 
like the X tool here. And of course, this version that I have here that was sent to me by ComGrow does fit the X tool and we'll be placing that on there in just a little bit. Continuing on, we have the actual nozzle it has a nice finish on it. It's a finish that almost matches or it does match uh, the X tool. So I don't know if that's by design or if that happens to be the color scheme that ComGrow uses throughout their product line. And these parts do fit in the foam really nice. I think these parts are all really well protected. And I'm not sure what this part is. This might be a, a shield that either fits on here or I think this might go on the ComGrow version of their laser. And now for the part that we're all waiting for is the pump, the air pump. Again, I'm really impressed with how well this pump is packaged into the foam. This foam is made specifically for all of these parts and this pump is not damaged whatsoever. If we look back on the box, we did have uh, one of the corners was uh, pushed in and we did have this. Actually, I can actually poke my finger all the way through. That's from uh, the shipping and this foam protected that easily. So no worries with any shipping damage. The information sheet again has all of the accessories listed that comes with it. On the reverse side, it has the install for all of the lasers that this fits. So I'll go through the parts list and actually make sure everything is in the kit that is supposed to be there. We'll do this very quickly. So number one, we do have the air assist pump itself. We do have the shield, the tall air nozzle, the smaller air nozzle. This is not the nozzle I believe that goes with the X-Tool D1. And then we have an air fitting with a long fitting, an air fitting with a short fitting, a brass barb that is conveniently already uh, inserted into the black airline tubing uh, my previous career, I worked with a lot of uh, mechanical and electrical things and including pneumatics. And I know from experience, these brass barbs, they work very well, but they can be extremely difficult to press into this type of airline. So it's really nice that ComGrow has already inserted that in. That actually may have saved us uh, a little bit of time of frustration of inserting that into the airline. Moving on, there's a clear piece of air tubing that this barb will go into. And again, conveniently, this has already been placed on the air pump for us. For the next couple of parts, we'll have to open up this accessory bag. And I'll randomly dump all of that stuff out. And we have the two brackets that guide the air line down to the air assist nozzle itself. And yet another bag. I think this has to be the smallest screwdriver I have ever seen. Inside that bag was two screws that will hold down these brackets for the airline. And then we have a couple more screws that are located in this bag. The mini screwdriver, the air tubing, and this high temperature masking tape, the Allen wrench keys. We've got three different sizes that come with the kit and a number of zip ties and one set screw. We'll keep that in the bag because I can totally see myself losing that if I take that out right now. So everything's complete with the kit, which is nice to see. Every once in a while you see a kit where they're missing something that should be in there. And this is the unboxing. Everything looks good. I'm pretty confident that that box can be shipped anywhere within the United States or even overseas. And all of these components will be safe inside of the box. If you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel or leave a comment. Doing any number of those things really helps this channel grow. And it's a great way to connect content like this with viewers like you. Until next time, have fun.
be kind and be creative.